Hey everybody, Spoonfed here. Uh, this is especially for Quinker Doom, if I pronounce it correctly. And it's about, well, it's the same processes in general in Linux, but um, for Pentium 2009, if you boot it off your CD and you wanna like browse around on your Windows, you need to mount it. So the first thing I did, as you can see, was ls uh, slash dev slash sd and then an asterisk in which and what that does is um, it will list all my devices now I know that SDA is the total device and SDA 1 is my only device that is Windows so the next line that I did was make dear um, slash mount or no slash M and T but let's mount slash uh, Windows slash and then it mount slash dev slash sda1 slash what, and then it says unknown file type system ntfs so that's what I said usually that works but then I specify the type which is mount dash t ntfs dash 3g and then slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt slash windows slash <coughs> it says windows contains an unclean file system File wasn't safely closed on Windows. It's fixing that. Well, three, two, one, boom, it's gone, and, and it's fixed. And then if you do ls slash mnt slash windows slash, I have everything on there. That's my Windows. In this case, it's my Windows XP one, but it could then just as well be your Vista one or your Windows seven one. Now with a um, USB stick, we could try the same. Um, I don't have one ready at the moment, so one moment. So I uh, got myself a USB stick. <coughs> now I have to do something to get it to work on my VM machine. So, <coughs> well, as you can see, if we do ls slash dash slash sd uh, asterisk, you'll see that there is a sdb now in there. So sdb1. So I'll do make there slash mnt slash um, we'll call it uh, USB. Uh, let's see dash slash sdb1 on mnt USB. And then we'll do ls dash mnt dash USB dash and there we go, and that's my Harins boot CD that we're gonna make uh, in the future. So that's how you do it. Now um, I could try something, but um, th th there's something in VMware that if you have a Windows thing running already, like installed on the disk, and you boot off of a CD or DVD or ISO image or whatever into a Linux environment. The mouse gets all fucked up. So, a tip for you guys out there: maybe it's fixed in a new version, but I didn't like Workstation Eight, <coughs> so I'm not gonna use that one. But um, yeah, I might figure out something else. So, the thing is, my mouse is here, but it's actually way over there. So, it's a bit annoying. Uh, we can do with keyboards and files, root. Well, I can't click in that, so I have to. Oh, I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, here in mount, we have CD ROM, floppy live CD, but we have Gen 2 and Windows and USB. So we'll go to Windows, and there we are. In Windows, we have. Um, Damn it. I cannot go find that anymore. Let's see if we can get that one like so. Go ahead. Yeah, Windows. Alright, we're in the Windows. Yeah. So we have program files in here, for example, and program files. No, this is all what I've installed, it's nothing new. But <coughs> as you can see that's how you um, mount your USB and your Windows partition in Pentu 2009 but 
it basically goes for all Linux um, devices. And uh, sometimes you have to specify the type. Um, there are quite a lot of types actually, um, which uh, I believe the most common ones are FAT32, but that might be misconstrued as, as type uh, VFAT, I think, but I'm not sure. Then you have NTFS slash or dash uh, 3G, and you have the X2, X3, X4 variants. I uh, hope that's uh, a little bit more clear. And that's basically it for the explanation on how to mount your Windows disk and your USB in Pentu 2009.